Besides using the Windows Update feature in settings, you can also use Windows Update command line to get your Windows updated. Continue watching to know more. There are two inbuilt tools can run Windows Update from command line. One is command prompt and the other is PowerShell. Let's see how to use them to perform Windows updates respectively. For Windows 10 and 11 system, type CMD in the search box, choose Run as Administrator to open command prompt. Type the following command lines and press Center after each. For older versions like Windows 8, you need to enter another commands one by one. Windows PowerShell only takes a few steps to get it down. Type PowerShell in the search box. Just run as administrator. Type install module PS Windows Update in the PowerShell window to install the Windows Update module. Type get Windows Update to check for all available updates. Enter install Windows Update to begin. In some cases, the command line may fail due to other errors. The most important thing is to back up your operating system out of safety. The easiest and quickest way to make a backup of the operating system to a different disk is to clone OS via a reliable OS migration tool like Omni Partition or System Professional. With this software, you can clone the operating system, copy disk and partition, and move programs and folders. Once something bad happens, you can restore them from the backup. These features are available in the Pro version, but you still can download its standard free version to try it. Simply hit the link in the description below. And by the way, you can check out this World Backup Day Sale. The best value bundles is now up to 80% off. And scroll down you can find buy one get one free. Let's start with how to migrate OS to SSD as a backup. Run Army Partition System Professional. Click on Migrate OS to SSD to move on. Select your new drive as the destination for the OS backup. Tick the box and hit Next. You are allowed to resize the system partition and change the drive letter on the new SSD. Read a note on how to boot from the destination disk as you may need this later. Click Apply and then proceed to backup your operating system to new drive. Thanks for watching till here. You can click on other videos if you want to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe us. If you have any questions or issues, please leave comments and share ideas with us.